Because <laughs> this, this is like, like the fifth revision. <laughs> True story. My mom wanted to name me Kunta Kinte. I know, it's crazy. She really did. But my aunt immediately stepped in as if she feared that society would try to make me their Toby. My aunt named me Tarishi, which is Swahili for messenger. My family wanted to give me a name that would remind me where I came from. We live in a generation that gentrification has people bleaching their skin so they can forget that the next of kin are Africans. You have Africans bleaching their skin so they can forget that their names came from the sun. My name comes from a place that believes it takes a village to raise a child. I believe it takes a planet to shape a man. I won't apologize. You don't understand this euphemism. Your world is too small for me. I think outside your bubble or your box, where if a sister may be fit and doesn't make sense, since race is nothing more than a systematic way of distancing from what we are in the first place, human. I was born on the east coast of America with a name that came from the east coast of Africa. My journey towards forever, starting the eighth grade, when a classmate called me Hershey. He found it difficult to pronounce Tarishi. I told you, I hate cubicle shapes. I should not have allowed someone to easily marginalize my life to fit inside the box of chocolates. If you can allow your English teacher to colonize your tongue so you can learn how to speak Sikorsky, Leonardo da Vinci, Finislavski, you can learn how to say Tarishi. Damn, it's easy. It's only seven letters. Say it. T-A-R-I-S-H-I. It's really an acronym for Transatlantic Refugee Individually Seeking Human Independence. I should not have allowed someone to change my name into a dessert since my ancestors already made course for the shark in the middle of the passage. And then the question was asking me, why do I call myself Midnight? I said, if Hollywood ever made a movie about me, no matter how much they whitewash my history, you'll always taste the melanin in my pseudonym. I have learned that a name is not safe. Once you discover its translation, you're now accountable for the responsibility it carries. My name means messenger. I am to deliver more than just these poems. There's a moral compass attached to it. I am more character than 26 letters of the alphabet. My aunt prophesied me into a martyr. No one admires the bearer of bad news, especially with the truth. My mouth is a bullseye waiting for the shotgun blast to silence me. How many of God's messengers you crucify for you realize I'm here just to deliver the word, not the offer of it? If I be both, does that make me bipolar or ambidextrous? A black man that refuses to be silent is dangerous. A black man that chooses to be silent is dangerous. My mom wanted to give me a name to remind me of my roots. My aunt wanted to give me a name to remind the world, even in flesh, the world, even in flesh, the word. Even in death, the word remains flesh. Mm. That's it. Woo!